Hello traders at CMC Markets. This is Trevor Neal uh, of RRG Research. I'm forecasting to you on the 20th of December uh, from London. Today we're going to look at uh, the Nasdaq, the FTSE and the DAX and also we're going to look at the Pound and the Euro. First the Nasdaq. Uh, here's an hourly chart and um, I'm very concerned about this. We've got a, a nice uptrend, that's for sure. Uh, but we've got a wedge uh, a pattern. So we've got higher lows in place and then we've got higher highs in place, which would normally be bullish. But we've got this tightening up. We've got this after an impulsive move, this loss of momentum in this phase in here. You see it here in the very clearly in the MACD, also in the RSI here. So we're definitely losing momentum. And it's quite unusual for these patterns to break to the upside, but it's literally got to break in the next hour if it break either up or down. I say it's unusual for it to break up, but we've got a clear point to tell us that it is breaking up when the, this RSI line is broken. More likely, statistically, to break to the downside. And if it does, then we sh should come back to at least uh, around 16,350. So watch out. I think given the, the tightening up uh, pattern that we've got there, it's, it's coming a bit like a coiled spring and it's about to make a move. Could be up, but I think more likely to be down. And that uh, uh, would, would break uh, the trend that we've had over the last few days, bring it to a temporary end. I think it is just a temporary end of it. So watch out, uh, but it's going to happen very imminently. Now the FTSE is in a gentle uptrend. It's very poorly performing on a relative basis, but all the stock markets are going up, even the weakest ones here. But this is actually the one with the best pattern, maybe the Dow as well. But here we've got a nice uptrend line with several points on it. We've held the line and get, tested it and held it. it. Looks as though we're on our way up. Now, I was very cautious about the DAX and that turned out to be right. The bearish divergence, uh, so remember this for the, uh, for the NASDAQ, we're in a similar condition right now, it turned out to be a good warning. It's a high, 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 lower high pattern here and also replicated in the RSI. But you can see now the RSI has been broken, so I'm actually with due reverence, I'm going to delete this line because it's now been broken this downtrend line and I think it's behind us now. Now we're on our way up and now moving to the uh, currencies. The the dollar is having is going a little bit steadier that's bringing the euro and the pound down in the south westerly direction in this weakening quadrant it's weakening because the dollar is strengthening and here you can see the euro's behavior here but what you can see really quite a strong last big move here in the pound. This is now the sampling and in the last hour it's dropped away very sharply. It's a big gap between this sample and the previous one here. So you would expect to see a plunge. That would be what a plunge would look like. So let's go and have a look. We'll look first at the euro. So here is the euro weakening. We've got two tops in place at 109.90. And then we've got further resistance up here at 110.07. We've got support, I should put this in here, at 109.50. And then really strong and important support at 108.90. The MACD is reflecting that easiness there. The RSI has gone down, all the way down below 35 and ticked up. And here is cable and uh, it, here's the plunge. Uh, that's that big gap on the RRG and the samples uh, there. And look what it's done to the RSI, plummeted RSI. And uh, here uh, the MACD was already uh, on the way down here. It's approaching support, however, and the support is at uh, 126.30. If that gives way, then we could really plummet down to around 125.40. It is support, however, and uh, we have to look at the behavior as it approaches it. If it bounces, then I think we've got a range in place here, with the top of which is 127.60, and then two highs up in here at uh, 127.90. Thank you very much indeed, everybody. I hope you find this useful. Have a good day, and may the trend be with you. Goodbye.